In this video, let's see what are different techniques that are available in Swift programming language uh, to do to uh, to do a task in uh, in a synchronous or in an asynchronous manner. Okay. So first, what we have is we can use uh, Grand Central Dispatch, which is a low-level API. We all know it is uh, built uh, on top of operations. Uh, operation queues and all provided by Apple uh, that allows you to perform tasks asynchronously on different queues. So we can create a queue and uh, submit a task to that queue uh, synchronously or asynchronously. Uh, let's discuss that with, with an example. For example, let me let me take just a second. For example, let me take a queue and i can do synchronous operation let me print uh, this is sync using gcd as this is the synchronous operation so rest of the program should wait for this synchronous operation to be executed okay so if i run and print it so first this gets executed until then it has to wait okay now uh, this is the synchronous uh, uh, this is how uh, a synchronous task uh, a task can be done in a synchronous manner using the gcd now uh, for example how to do the asynchronous task a synchronous task the same way asynchronous let me put a synchronous 8 uh, asynchronous and uh, and it doesn't need to the rest of the program doesn't need to wait for this asynchronous operation right that is the reason we call it as an asynchronous operation so if i run it so it doesn't need to why because this happens in the background so this gets executed first or sometimes maybe depending on the resources you use, uses or something and this may this may come first or this may come second okay so that can be possible but basically this asynchronous operation doesn't stop executing the uh, doesn't block the program so that's pretty much using the gcd we can do an asynchronous and asynchronous task and uh, next one is let me comment it for you so that these print statements will not come uh, next one is of course we all know uh, which are nothing but the operation uh, oper using the operation queue okay operation queue we all know uh, these are high level abstraction on top of which gcd has been built uh, so these pretty much allow you to perform complex operations asynchronously or synchronously you can create an operation queue and add operations to it so we will just see how we can add an uh, operation to uh, operation to operation queue and do it synchronously and uh, uh, adding an operation to the operation queue and doing it asynchronously so for this purpose let's take uh, an operation queue which is it's not gcd so it is directly operation queue we are taking and uh, let's see some block operation let's for example uh, asynchronous block operation let me see block block operations are nothing but built, built on top of operation in 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 uh, i will discuss in our uh, uh, blog what is the difference between operation and block operation i'll make a separate video for this so it's an uh, asynchronous operation correct so this is nothing but async opq and this i can add it to this operation queue saying dot add operation no no, no operation queue dot add operation i already have the operation so async bo and as this is the asynchronous operation it should not block the program so just to show you i do not need to this is using opq okay i do not need to wait for opq correct so if i run it i don't need to wait for a sync opq why because it's add operation it's an asynchronous operation why because we are not asking to wait okay now what if uh, what if i need to do it do a synchronous uh, operation now again create a synchronous operation now here i'll print something like which is sync operation queues now this will block this i do need to wait for i do need to wait for sync opq correct now let me comment it for you and uh, see how we can how we need to add this now uh, 
uh, to the operation Q to make it a to make it this a serial operation what is the difference between let me have a comment it so that you can see the difference for first now I add operation add operation here operations I need to give it in a in an array and wait until finished true okay now you can see it needs to I need to wait for sync operation queue okay this will not get executed until this gets executed so let me comment this piece of code for you so synchronous block operation can be sorry not everything I we need the operation queue so synchronous block operation I have added and I asked the program to wait now if I run it this will not come until this is come so it's a serial and I can add so many I can add synchronous to sync to I can add so many until unless these gets finished th the program will not continue correct so that's pretty pretty much how we can add an asynchronous operation to the uh, operation queue like you can directly add the operation like this and if it is a synchronous operation you need to put put the, all the operations in an array and you need to tell the program that to wait until finished then only the next statement will get it executed so that's pretty much we can do using the operation queues and there is one more way uh, which we all very familiar with which is nothing but the which is nothing but the completion handlers which are closers correct so so how, how 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 can we do it ask synchronously and asynchronously using the completion handlers so completion handlers are closures that are executed after an operation or task has completed correct so you can use completion handlers to perform tasks asynchronously or synchronously depending on how they are called here here it comes the escaping and non-escaping closures if we want async and stuff we use the escaping if we don't want we don't use the escaping stuff now let me write a piece of code for you uh, to just discuss for example I have an async task if I need to do an if I need to do an async task now completion let's say for example as it I need escaping and it's an empty closure okay so what it does it as it is asynchronous task we need to add some sleep or we need to uh, we need to put it in background thread or a sync piece of code then then only I can do completion correct then so it, it, it obviously become asynchronous task why because it is doing something in the background and once it is done then only we are doing the completion correct so if I run this asynchronous task uh, what I will do let me say I just want to print something uh, what I what completed async using completion handlers correct and as it is asynchronous operation I do not need to wait correct I do not need to wait completed async using right why because it's an asynchronous operation the program uh, this asynchronous will not stop the execution and we are able to uh, call this uh, closure after the asynchronous function why because it, it is an escaping clo closure correct uh, there is a tutorial on escaping and non-escaping closure in this blog please go through it if you are not familiar with escaping and non-escaping so this is how using the completion handlers we can make a task an async task so in the same way in the pretty much same way how can I do a synchronous task how can I do it I don't keep it but I don't keep it and uh, in this I don't do it why because it's a synchronous task this is how I do it print now if I print uh, com it is completed completed sync using ch now I do need to wait correct so let me comment this for you so this is the synchronous task using the completion handler without escaping so I have to call it like this once this is completed only this will get executed why because it's a synchronous operation see it has to wait 
so these three are the different different ways that we can use uh, uh, that we can use to different uh, techniques we have like gcd operation queues and uh, uh, completion handler to do a task in a synchronous or asynchronous manner so just to summarize one is gst second one is operation queues operation queues you have to go uh, when you have complex operation when you have a dependency when you uh, when you uh, when you need to add dependencies between operations so there are some differences uh, uh, there there are some limitations with gcd we will make a separate video tutorial uh, for when to pick up a gcd and when to pick up a operation queue it all depends on our requirements so operation queues offer some uh, pr some priorities and some uh, dependencies and uh, uh, such stuff so uh, and uh, it, it, it can uh, and uh, which is a high level abstraction so we'll discuss uh, when to pick up a gcd when to pick up a operation queue in a separate video tutorial and uh, this we all know completion handlers or closures completion handlers or closures using these three uh, currently we can achieve uh, a task in synchronous or asynchronous manner in swift programming language just to uncomment the piece of code so that you can go ahead and see it where uh, in the gcd uh, we have just taken a global queue and uh, did the synchronous and asynchronous operation it's pretty straightforward as it is high level api as it, uh, as it is built on top of as it is just an uh, 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 low level api the piece of code is less okay whereas operation queue it's a high level api that's the piece of code is more where i have taken a uh, i have taken an asynchronous block operation added it then it becomes uh, if i don't mention wait until finished it will become uh, an asynchronous operation so another uh, block operations i have added uh, in the array and if i ask them to wait for uh, them to be finished they will wait so using the completion handlers we all know it uh, using the closures escaping and non-escaping stuff we can uh, achieve a synchronous or synchronous using the completion handlers so that's pretty much we can achieve uh, synchronous and asynchronous of a task in swift programming language i hope this post is useful thank you